if you're searching online, you're gonna find cheap desktop CNC's everywhere. And sure, a $200 CNC sounds pretty tempting, but let's be honest, what you're really buying is a whole bunch of disappointment. Now, by contrast, the Carvera Air promises something really different, a safe, compact machine with auto leveling, quick tool changes, and the power to carve wood, epoxy, and even some soft metals. This machine is definitely not $200, but does it actually deliver where those dirt cheap Amazon machines fail? Well, let's put the Carvera Air to the test. So what exactly makes the Carvera Air stand out? Well, there's dozens of videos showing you every minute detail of Makeris Carvera Air, so I'm not gonna rehash those, but I will walk you through some of the features that are going to matter to you every time you use this machine. First off, the entire system is enclosed, and that means that you're gonna get less dust, less noise, and most importantly, it adds a dimension of safety not found in most other desktop CNC machines. This is a big deal if you're if you're running this in, in a small workshop or even a spare room in your house. Next, we've got auto leveling. Now, if you've ever fought with uneven stock or manually setting the Z height uh, on a CNC, this is gonna be a real game changer. The Carvera Air automatically measures the surface and adjusts so that your cuts stay consistent every time. And as it turns out, this is my favorite feature, and it's one I wish my full-size CNC offered because it's, it's just such a godsend. Then there's the fast tool chain system. So instead of manually loosening collets and measuring tool lengths whenever you change bits, the Carvera Air provides a quick chain system and all the bits have a measured rubber gasket that ensures accurate positioning. You simply pull a lever, insert a bit, and push the lever back up, and the bit is changed in seconds. It's really easy. So for the first time buyer, this removes the, the one big pain point for almost every other CNC on the market, that whole tool change process. And of course, we can't skip the software. Makera includes its own controller application to, to control the Carvera Air directly from a computer or even from your smartphone, if that's what you want to do. There's also Makera Cam software, which lets you design projects, select tools, tool paths, uh, and basically create files that are ready to send to the machine. That means you can design, send jobs, monitor progress without ever having to leave Makera's environment. But if you're uh, already comfortable with, say, another tool, Makera doesn't lock you in by any means. Uh, it also works with software like Vect Vectric VCarve, which is a favorite for hobbyists and small shops who want pro-level design control. So uh, there's lots of flexibility. And finally, the overall design here is gorgeous. This Carvera Air looks fantastic. It's compact, clean, and surprisingly solid for a desktop machine. It's definitely not like one of those 3018 machines. Plus, there's a growing online community here for sharing projects and settings and support. And that just makes this even easier to get up and running, especially if you hit a bit of a snag. Now to start showing you what this Carvera Air is capable of, I thought I'd start with a couple of really simple examples. And these are examples that come out of a very well-written uh, book of, of samples. And I'll start with one that's just a 3D or two and a half D uh, pirate ship. And you can just, you, you get a feel here. I'll show you some of the instructions, but you'll get a feel for how easy this actually is. So I'm gonna use a material that's that's called epoxy modeling board. And it's it feels like wood, it looks like wood, but it has absolutely no grain. It's really nice to work with. And I put it on the CNC and then the example really simply just said, go load this pirate ship. And when I start, you can see the, the ship there. If I zoom in, you can see some of the detail. There's two tool paths here. There's a coarse one to to grind out the the heavy material and then a, a fine one so when i start it's going to start with that with that coarse tool path and you can see it's just basically really rough and uh, just basic big lumps and then i switched over to the fine tool path now this one took quite a while because uh, it's using just a v bit so you're moving over very small increments to get to the next line but when you're done uh, you can see the result here. It just looks great. This is a nice material and the machine was certainly capable of doing this uh, really well. So, you know, I, I was shocked and uh, pleased at the same time. 
Now, the next one I wanted to try was aluminum. A lot of people are looking for metal engraving. And this Carvera Air surprisingly can do this with relative ease. So I laid down a piece of material and then I zeroed it out. And I'm actually going to cut uh, just a, a, a small piece of material that's used for a light project that they also provide. Uh, I won't do the rest of the project because it's all pretty basic at this point. Um, but I cut it out and there's a couple of tabs there. So I, I'll just saw them out with this little provided saw they, they have. I, it works. It's not the best saw, but it works. And when you're done, you get something that looks definitely like it was machined. And it's very smooth and very well done. And I was, again, shocked at how easy this was. And I think that's kind of the theme of the Carvera Air is it's designed to be easy and anyone can do this. Now, before I move on to the next big topic on this Carver Air, there's one more thing I wanted to show you, which is a real project. And I'll put real in quotes because I wouldn't actually sell this project, at least not the way it is, but it'll give you an idea for what the Carver Air is capable of. Now, there's definitely some shortcomings in what I'm about to show you, and I'll point those out and, and what you can do about them. But uh, the goal here is to really just give you a sense for how powerful this Carver Air actually is. So let's just jump in here. And I just jumped into VCarve here, my tool of choice, and I created a simple award. And it's basically a thank you award with a name and then a pocket for, uh, in this case, a coin. And I have four toolpaths here. Two, the first two are a V-bit. The second two are, a, are an eighth inch end mill. And uh, you can see once I bring it into controller here that uh, it basically will look something like this on a, on a piece of hardwood. And I found this scrap of sub peel that I was using for another project. Now, here's the first place. You'll notice the thank you here is a little bit, a little bit shaky. It's there, but it's not very deep. Uh, I probably should have used a different font and uh, got this a little nicer, but you can see how it came out here. I just threw a bit of mineral oil on it to give it a kind of a finished look. And then I'm going to press the coin in. Now, the coin can be anything. I just happen to have this one sitting around. So uh, I put it in there. And you can see very quickly, and I mean literally 35 minutes from end to end, uh, I ended up with a project here that turned out reasonably okay, except for the thank you font. And, uh, you know, it's the kind of thing you can show people. And I actually showed the, the uh, side grain here that I completely untouched. It came off the CNC like this. And you can see how smooth it actually is uh, for something that uh, really just came off a machine. And, you know, two seconds with a, a piece of 320 grit sandpaper and this would be ready to go. Now, if what I've shown you so far was all that the Carvera Air was capable of, I think most people looking for a desktop CNC would be pretty happy. Uh, it will essentially do anything that any other CNC will do, including uh, a larger one like the one I have, except it's smaller. And for most people looking in this market, that size is probably one of the things they're looking for. So uh, again, I think you'd be pretty happy, but there are a couple of additional attachments and I want to show these to you. And the first of these is uh, a rotary attachment and it just mounts onto the workspace and then there's a plug in the in the roof of the inside on the left hand side. Now I'm just going to load a simple project here, this Nefertiti model, which actually came originally from Thingiverse. And uh, I can just select some, some basic settings and uh, start the job. Now there's two tool paths here. The first one is this roughing pass. And that gets you down to something close. And then the finishing pass actually refines all of the detail. Now, when you pull this off the CNC, uh, I'm gonna use the tools here to loosen the chuck. And uh, you'll notice that there's very little to do to this after you cut the, the stubs off the top and the bottom and you have a figurine that came off of the CNC and you don't have to sand it, you don't have to do anything. So I think the rotary is one of those tools you're absolutely going to want to consider if you're buying a Carvera Air. Uh, it just adds so much more utility to uh, what is already a great tool. Now there's a second attachment, which is a five watt 
diode laser and it has a mount on it that's just like any other tool so you can put it in the spindle chuck and clamp it down and put it in there in seconds which is really nice and then you can plug it into the open connector above the the fan on the spindle from there you can just open uh, uh, any image or anything you need in in controller in this case uh, I'm, I'm using a stock photo but it's one i use in my own demos quite often and uh, you go and set some some configuration to get it positioned on your material properly and when you press run it's just a case of uh, it'll ask you to make sure the laser's inserted of course and you can confirm that and then you can start the job now i'm going to show you the job here in real time but i'm almost finished actually and you can see the speed it's it's going again this is only a five watt laser but it does actually a really nice job if i zoom in here you'll see it's very dark now this is mdf so dark is actually not that hard but it comes out really nicely and uh, if you wanted to maybe do some engraving with uh, with a CNC, maybe you want to put a name or something, and then you want an image, uh, you can do this because the laser is really just another tool path in in Carvera. So you can you can intermix it in with with another CNC job, which is really kind of nice. And that brings me to some final thoughts on, on Mikaris Carvera Air. I'll admit that when I took this out of the box, I was convinced that it was just gonna be a high-priced 3018 machine, but uh, I was wrong. Th this machine is actually built really well, and it's something that's, it, it's actually built like a commercial machine, but it's really for a desktop. And it's the kind of thing that you're going to use and abuse and it's gonna just keep going. It's gonna last for a very long time. Uh, on the pro side here, the construction kind of in this vein is very solid. Everything that's that matters is metal. And uh, it even has some features that you don't get on, on bigger CNC machines like auto leveling, for example. Mikara has done an excellent job on ease of use here. They keep you in an ecosystem if that's where you want to stay. So you've got everything from CAM where you can do uh, uh, layout tool paths and, and do some of the design. And then you have the controller that basically lets you manage the machine remotely, either from your computer or from uh, something like a tablet. And uh, overall, it's there's just never a time when you're lost. Everything just seems intuitive and it's fairly easy once you kind of understand the basics, we'll say, of CNC. Uh, and finally, on the pro side here, there is definitely a focus on safety. Uh, it's got a complete enclosure, so when it's closed, you it gets a lot quieter. You don't have to worry about ear damage. And uh, also things like chips, metal or wood chips, uh, aren't going to fly out and get in somebody's eye. So overall, I think, you know, you can count on safety here. Now, on the con side, there were a couple of things. The workspace size here is it's bigger than a 3018 by probably an inch in each direction, but it's still going to be too small for some people. But honestly, if you already know you're going to be building bigger projects, this may not be the machine for you. Now, Mikara does also have the original Carvera machine, which does have a bigger workspace. So if you're close, but, but it, this one's going to be too small, then you might want to take a look at that machine. Next on the list here on the con side, uh, there isn't a vacuum adapter included. And this is a bit nitpicky, but the the vacuum hose that comes out of the back of the Carvera Air is small. It's also metric, so if you you know if you live in the U.S., for example, you're going to complain about things. But you can 3D print an adapter for this. There's lots of them out there, and uh, then you can attach a regular vacuum. So it's it's just extra work that you're going to have to do if you want to uh, attach a vacuum and use the dust boot on the on the spindle. And finally here, I'll, I'll call out Makeris cam tool. Uh, the tool itself, the usability is a bit awkward in places. Now, I know it's fairly new, so, so they're presumably still working on it. But for a, an old guy like me, the text everywhere in the user 
interface is just insanely small. And, uh, you know, unless you have 2020 vision, you're going to complain about this. Just minor things, but there are things I think if they added a preference to let you set the font size, for example, then, you know, you'd be happy. You know, if you're ready to expand beyond, uh, you know, the traditional lasers and 3D printers and things that I cover on this channel, then the Carvera Air might be the perfect piece of CNC technology for your shop. And it will, it will enable you to do woods, metals, just be able to make things that you can't do with only a laser, for example. Now, let me know in the, in the comments down below what your thoughts are here. Uh, if you want pricing information, just go to Carvera's we the Make Hero website and uh, have a look there. They come on sale on a regular basis. That's why I, I won't tell you the price. But it's definitely substantially more than, than you know, your $100 3018 off of Amazon. But when you first start using this thing, you get an immediate appreciation for the accuracy it has and, uh, you know, and the robustness of the machine. And with that, I'll wind down. I'll say get out there, make your world, and I hope to see you next time.